Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Jeans, bringing you guys part 9 for my playthrough on Pokemon Sword. In the last episode, we actually completed the 6th gym, which was the Rock Gym right here. Now we're going to be moving on completing the 7th gym. But yo, if you guys are enjoying this content, show it. By scrolling down a little bit, smash that like button, clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. So guys, after we beat the last gym, we actually moved along. Well, Sonya told us to meet her at the restaurant right here, which we are going towards... And look at this, we got Sonya here with Hop and a mean little scent scorch right there. Look at that. Got that gym badge jeans? Nice one. Oh, hey, there you are. As we were talking to Sonya right there, she noticed this tapestry on the wall. It looks exactly like one of the prophecies back at Hammerlock right there. And she kind of starting to put one and one together, or two and two together, however you want to say it. But she realizes that me and Hop could be these next heroes, so we're going to head out here to this little fountain area, this beautiful little steam, little foggy area. I kind of like it. It looks... Very cool. We're going to go out here and see what she has to say. Dude, just look at this. The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after a battle to bring down the evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. Hmm. Who exactly were the heroes that bathed here? I think I'll have to look into that. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Let's go. You two met in a mysterious... You two met a mysterious Pokemon back in the slumbering wheel. Perhaps you two can become the new heroes. Oh yeah, dude, she starts putting two and two together right here. We could become the new heroes, and like they said, the heroes did battle here, so me and Hop are now going to hop into a nice little battle here. I'm going to have to give him the quick little smack, it's like I normally do, and I don't even know who I have in my front spot. I might have Grapplock in my front spot. Is that who I have? I usually have Grapplock up there. I'm thinking I actually might have Rillaboom up here. Because I was streaming last night. You guys know the deal, yo. Pop out. Check out my streams. Link in the description below. Gene25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Doing the Pokedex. Then we're going with Shiny Hunting and online battles. And all that. And breeding and all that good stuff. So if you guys want to come around hang out, it would actually mean a lot. But yeah, we're versing this double right here. With our Rillaboom level 45. What level was his uh, double? 40? Was it? Let's go. Wap, wap. Wap, wap. Nice little damage there. Let's go, Rillaboom. And his speed's going to fall. Yes, that's what this move does. You gonna growl at me? Why are you growling at me, dog? Get out of my little face, boy. What you want? <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna get buffeted by the hail. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all, but we're actually gonna get the water bicycle in today's video, which is gonna be awesome. It's actually gonna help us out tremendously. We're gonna be really do he hype up ocean. Get out of my face. Make my battle a little bit harder. But yeah, we're gonna get the surf bicycle, and that's gonna help us out a lot with collecting the Pokedex and all that good stuff. But we'll be chilling right here. We're just going to use drum beating one more time and probably take out this double. Say, night, night. You gone. Get out my face, little boy. Little ram, little sheep mix Pokemon. What is he? A sheep and a ram mix? Or is there like an actual, like, animal to go here? What you mean he didn't die? I thought he would have been dead right there. But he's going to use takedown. It doesn't get recoil by this. Yeah, he gets recoil. He dummy. Actually, that wasn't even a lot of recoil. Unless he's just a total tank, which I can believe he is. That's fine, that's fine. You getting that razor leaf, dog. You getting that razor leaf once again. Let's go. Zoom. <laughs> I love how he does. He's just like, yee. Sends a bunch of razors. And we crit, baby. And we crit. Who you got next? I know he has Inteleon in his party. Um, does he have a Grim Smarl? The third stage of Impidid? He might, he might. But let's go. Grapple Lock with level 47. Taking a lead because I was off screen doing everything. Wood Hammer. It actually has recoil. Let's check. Does it have recoil? It, it damages the user quite a lot. We're gonna actually actually get rid of uh We're gonna get rid of uh Razor Leaf right here. We're gonna say bye bye Razor Leaf. If we ever need again, we can just relearn it. But this is a hard hitting move right here. But it actually uh does more damage to ourselves. But it's like high risk, high reward. So we're chilling. We might use on Italian show it off. He's gonna send out his Corbin Knight. We're gonna switch out here. Steel, um We're gonna go set the scorch. He is steel and flying, so I'm gonna say rock wouldn't be not very effective, right? Or it would just be effective. But I think this fire move will actually just tank it out. Because it's just... It looks like it's just a pure steel bird right here. <laughs> Level 40 right here. We're going to get murking on this poor boy. Let's go. Yes, he's super effective right here. Fire or flame wheel. I need a new uh, fire move. Does he learn like flamethrower or something? That'd be wonderful. But let's go. That damage is real right there. It's real, ladies and gentlemen. We crushing it right here. I hope you guys are all enjoying the Pokemon Sword and... Bruh, sword and Shield content as I am... Loving this game. Absolutely in love with this game. So show your support by smashing that like button for me as it goes a long way. Like, you guys have no idea. But we're going to send another flame wheel at this Corbin Knight and take it out right here. Say night, night. Get out my face, little boy. See you later, Corbin Knight. Go ahead. Show me that Inteleon. I actually haven't got the chance to see Inteleon's special move. I heard it's like a snipe shot or something. Is that what's called snipe shot? I have an Inteleon because 
I got them both by trading thanks to people who come out to the stream and I don't even know who he's sending out. So we're just gonna play it safe and go crap a lot. <laughs> I have no idea who's, who he's sending out. But like I said, I do have an Italian, but I never saw his uh, secret move. I saw a Pyro Ball and I didn't see. Oh, he sent out Italian, man. <laughs> Dang it. We're just gonna go straight for the Brick Break. We're gonna go Brick Break in here. He's gonna use Tearful Look. What's that gonna do? Drop our attack? They're gonna drop our attack. Look at our crap a lot, dude. He looks mean. It looks awesome, dude. Our special attack and our attack do, does fall. But we're still gonna do some work. Our superpower will take it out. This Intellion out after this, which is beautiful. Beautiful. Hopefully, he out speeds me. You snipe shot. I would love to see it. Use tearful look again. I hate you, Intellion. I hate you. All I want to see was your snipe shot. I was giving you the chance to hit me. I was like, do it. Hit me. <laughs> but he wasn't doing it. So we're just gonna use superpower and just take him out here. That is our strongest fighting move right here. It's kind of like an all-out move. Our attack and our defense will fall after we use it, but it does some mean damage. So we're just gonna take out Grab Block. We're gonna say, Grab Block, you're done for today. Get out my face, little boy. <laughs> Dreadnought does level up to 47, which is nice. We get buffeted by the hail, which is not nice. I hate it. He's gonna send out Snorlax, dude. I'm actually gonna keep out him. <laughs> I forgot he had the Snorlax, but he's gonna do work with it. Uh, we're gonna brick break right off the bat, and then uh, superpower if we have to. Right, let's go brick break all our attack is down our superpower should actually take that out unless he doesn't use a move that lowers our attack or anything yeah we're gonna use a uh, superpower we're gonna take the risk we're gonna drop our defense and our attack in order to deal some me damage it should take it out 100 percent 100 percent and then we'll just switch out grab block say see you later punk you stink you're out for the day like i've been saying that should take him out right yes it does that move is so strong like i said it's a high risk high reward move right there which is awesome which is awesome but guys, I cannot wait to actually complete this game, complete the Pokedex, start shiny hunting and all that good stuff on stream. Woo! Dude, I'm actually very excited for that. I love streaming this game. I love just putting hours into this game. It feels like it's just flying by. But we got Pinchurin right here. We're going to switch Pokemon out. We're going to go to my Corviknight. Um, is this, what kind of, is this just a poison type? Right? I'm not too sure, but like I'm saying, dude, I am just so excited. I can put so many hours in this game and just feel like I'm playing it for only an hour. This game is just phenomenal. It has so much replay value to it. I just fell in love with it. I think it's a phenomenal Pokemon game, in my opinion. Yeah, I get all the graphic issues and all that, but dude, put them aside. Dude, this game is phenomenal. We're going to draw a pack right off the bat here on this pincher, and I forget what type this thing is. Is it steel and poison? That still did work on it. That still did work. He's electric. Jeez. He's electric. We're just going to keep out of Corviknight, save a turn. It's not a big deal. It really isn't. It, it, it just isn't a big deal. This hop's a little boy and he's stinky poo. All right, we're just going to go drill pack again. Hopefully, we get a crit. Come on, Corbin Knight. Boo, you stink. He's going to curse us. That's going to kill himself, right? No, that's the wrong curse. That's the wrong curse. So there's two moves called curse. The one puts a nail in you, drops your health down to half, and then curses the other guy. It's kind of like a major poison. It's, that's exactly what it's like, if I had to guess. But there we go. We're just going to drill pack this pincher and... Pinchurchin? Is that how you say Pinchurchin? One last time. Finish off this battle with Hop. And did we have a Rillaboom out there for a second? I believe we did, yes, against a double will or double. So our cash is gonna go through the roof right here. So let's finish off here. He's probably gonna heal up our Pokemon, which I would love. Woo! Nice little solid 10 grand. For your boy, Jeans right here. Let's get it. Let's talk to Sonya. Thanks, you two gave it gave it proper battle at the rate you both are going. Even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So what's next for you two? I plan to look into things in the slumbering wheel. Ah, uh, dude, you know our plan. We're heading towards the seventh gym and we're getting ourselves that water bike that is so desperately needed for us to actually complete the Pokedex and all that good stuff. Did he actually heal up our Pokemon? Better healed up our Pokemans. Let's check, let's give it a quick peek. Come on, show me he did. Aw, oh, dude, that guy sucks. Are you kidding me? After healing up the squad, the boys, all six of our Pokemon, we're actually gonna get moving on to the next route, which I believe is just down here towards the right, right? Eh, right, right, let's go. Let's make our way this way. Uh, nope, not that way. Is it down towards this way? We gotta head towards Route 9. Yes, this is the way I wanna go. We make our way towards Route 9 right here. We're gonna go over a bridge. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a little fishing spot. Oh, but it went away. But we got this lady right here. What's up, lady? What you want? How you doing today? Let's go. Let's get into this Pokemon battle. And, oh, uh, wait. Yeah, I have my real boom in the front spot. Cool. She probably has all water Pokemon. We got fishing, Fisher Harriet right here. What you want? A Barrascuda. This is the second stage of Aracuda. This thing's sick. It has like a pinwheel on its tail. But hopefully we can just merc it in one hit. Go super effective right here. We're gonna... Oh, I should have showed off uh, Woodhammer. He's gonna use Dive. What you mean? <laughs> this boy's really gonna use Dive against us. Waste our time. He's gonna die either way. He's gonna get one hit on us. It's gonna do... 
poo poo damage. We're gonna say see you later. I'm gonna go wood hammer. So once he pops up, we're gonna say night night right here to him. <laughs> Bruh, dude. A little squirrel vet would have done more damage than that. See you later, dude. Wood hammer merc. Watch how much recoil damage it does. So this is a very strong move, but the recoil damage is through the roof, Freddy. Yay! It's like 40 recoil damage right there. Oh, get two people level up. Corviknight and Toxtricity. Nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. We get buffeted by the hell. Is this your last Pokemon you have? A Lantern. We're just gonna uh, keep our Pokemon out, because I believe Grass... I don't know. Is Grass super effective? What would be super effective? Because this is Electric and Water. So Electric wouldn't be. Maybe with Grass? I think Grass should still be. Yep. Marked. See you later, Lantern. I actually need one of these in my Pokédex. I gotta evolve Chinchou and Aracuda in order to get both of those in my Pokédex. But we are actually at like about 200 Pokémon right here in our Pokédex. About halfway done it, which is awesome, dude. That's sick. That's sick. But I kind of just came over here, just clear that path right there, and we have this trainer. Have to get the XP as always. <gasps> A Pelipper. And what is that? A Marini. We do have both of those Pokémon right now. We're gonna check out this Wild Encounter and see what we got chilling here. Oh, a nice little Max Potion. Who we got in this Wild Encounter? Show me something new. Show me something new. A Cramorant. We already have one of these Ugg Mugs. I'm running away from him. We already have one of these boys right here. This grass has nothing. This grass has a bunch of Cramorants. I searched it a good amount of times. We got this trainer right here, though. We're going to get whooping on it. But all that was there was Cramorants. You had the Pell Perch flying right there. You had that Marini chilling there. And all the wild encounters were just Cramorants. Like, I have them already. We got Dancer Zoa here. I do need one of these guys. You can actually find them back at Route 8 at the end of that ice thing. It's a rare drop. I think it's, like, uh, below 3%. So, that's a wild encounter, so... That's pretty, that's pretty tough. That's pretty tough. So, what do you want, Daramuka? Is that, is that how you pronounce it? Daramuka's gonna get whapped on. Beep, 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 beep. Dead. Merc, one shot. I actually need him. This is actually a Galarian form, isn't it? Right? The original one's like fire and all that. Oh, real boom. Almost leveled up. Got some whack XP. That was light. Blossom's gonna go out there. Dude, you know who we're putting out here. We're going with our boy Sentiscorch right here. There's actually a chance to catch, uh... Blossom. I think you can catch every single Pokemon, like every single like final stage too, which is awesome. Like I saw him a champ floating around uh in my live stream. I saw a fly gone, but you can actually find Blossom and all that, but you just gotta be high enough level to catch them all. Yeah, catch them all. You guys know the deal. But yeah, dude. I think I only complete the Pokedex in one game. And that was uh Emerald, I believe. We're just talking about regular Pokedex. I think it was Emerald. And Di no, Diamond and Pearl, I did it too. I did it in Diamond and Pearl also. Oh, three people level up right there. But I cannot wait to actually complete this Pokedex. This is the most hype I've ever been for a Pokemon game. I think it's maybe because it's just a console game. Or maybe I just like it better than all the other ones. We don't really know. But we're going to head down this little ice path right here. We got Route, now, Route 9. This is Sir Chester Bang. We got, oh, we got our boy Team Yellow over here. We got this Dreadnought chilling here. What you guys want? And we got this little doctor looking guy with his mask over his face. This guy actually gave us the Rotom bike and he is going to give us the water bike once we defend him from Team Yell once again right here. So let's just keep talking to him and get into this battle with these hunks of junks. Like these guys are actually one of the uh, only like teams, like kind of like Team Aqua and all that, that are just kind of like, they're nice. They're just supporting a girl right here while the other ones are all trying to like sabotage stuff, which is kind of funny. But she's going to send out line and yo, look at this battle atmosphere. Boy. Boy, 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 yo, we're floating on little waters and all that. We're going to use drum beating again. Like I said, I got rid of Rage Leaf, which, I, which I was actually smart considering this thing has 15 PP. We can actually just smack up some fools. See you later, Linoon. You're dead, dude. Team Yell is no match for us now. We are high level right now. We're pushing level 50, all of our Pokemon. Who you got next? Who you got next? What do you want, little boy? A Panguru right here. We're going to switch out to our Corver Knight as flying. Should be super effective. Just chilling. I like how she's flying in steel, Corver Knight. Pretty dope. Once I saw this in trail, I was like, boy, is this a legendary Pokemon? This thing looks sick, dude. Looks phenomenal, yo. But this Pangoru is going to get the whooping, dude. You can't even eat berries, dog. You can't even eat berries. What you want? What you want? We're going to use Drill Pack. I can't wait for it to learn Brave Bird. That's like the really strong bird move. But it does have recoil damage. But, yo, dude, you out of here, yo. Team Yo is no match for us anymore. We can just merc on all of them all at once. You guys know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying? There we go. Defeat the Team Yelp front. We're probably going to have to burst the other one, which is not a big deal. I don't really care. It's, uh, it's really not a big deal. It's just free XP for me. Or, or, or is that the only one? Let's see. Nope, I think it was the only one. <laughs> Instead of saying bye-bye, they said bye-bye. So they're going to send Dreadnought back to the water over here and hit the bounce boogie. And this boy right here is going to give us the water bike. The water Rotom bike. The Rotom bike. We obtained Rotom. We already had the Rotom bike. This is just the water one right here. And in order to do that, you just hop on your bike right here. 
And you just literally go into the water. Like, look at this. Yay. Awesome. Yo, look at this. Wellmers. Yo, we got Grandpa Lock chilling here. What level is this Wellmer on? We're going to try to catch this and that Mantini right there. I'm not kidding when I say this. I crit it back to back Wellmers. Two of them in a row, and they both died instantly. I was like, boy, what do you mean? So now we're heading on to our third Wellmer right here, and we can catch it. Now we can move on to the man Tyke and go catch that bad boy. I must have wasted like 10 Ultra Balls on this little boy. I thought he'd be easy to catch, but he's just chilling here doing his little thing. But there we go. Come on, click. Finally, we got him. We got him. It took me a couple of tries, and they are a pain to encounter. You guys will see in a bit. Finally, we get moving along here. Look at this. We got Grapple Lock. Oh, no, dude. He's coming. Oh, <laughs> yo, dude, this boy's coming. Whelmer's over here. What else? We got Ramorades. Is this just a secret path? Holy, it's a Whelmer party. What we got going on here? Guess it's just the other side right here. What is this? Is this the other side? I gotta go see what else we got over here. Hold the phone. We got Ramorade over there. Where's that Grapple Lock at? Grapple Lock left. He left. What's over here? There he is. Look at him, yo. He comes after you. Oh, Get on my face, yo. What we got over here? I guess there's two sides. Is there two sides over here? We're gonna check out this side right here. Whalemers, Ramorades, we got all them. Oh, we got a little Pokeball. Look, you just transfer from water bike to regular bike, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh, my lord, dude. I'm scared to go up against these grapple locks. Look at him. He's a beast. Oh, yo, get away from me, dog. What you want? Get out of here. We got this trainer over here. Whalemer, Mantine. Dude, this place is unreal. I'm loving it. Oh, my lord, dude. We just got smoked by a Mantike. This is what I'm talking about. They're kind of annoying, but you can just kind of get hit by them randomly. But they're tough to, like, predict where they're going to land and all that. Because they're just real quick landing and all that. But we already caught you, boy. We already caught you. So we're going to just run. Take a run off this battle right here. But, dude, that grapple lock is looking mean, dude. He's looking very mean. But is this the path right here? What do we got over here? We're going to head over here. We got a campsite right here. We're going to battle this trainer and actually get Merkin on him. This place is unreal. There's just so much to do here. There's just a lot to do here. But we actually just got to make our way throughout this little lake, river, iceberg, little palace over here. And actually find our way towards the end. But we got a Salk just chilling here. We're going to send out a real boom. Is this his only Pokemon he has? No, he has two. We're just going to go with a drum beating. Probably do more than half. But I'm going to say low yellow it's going to bring him down to. Right? Low yellow? That's fair choice right there. Or just kill one shot. I will take that through that Salk's defense. is probably poo poo right down the drain. It stinks, yo. We're going to get mad XP here. Who we got? Who is he sending out next? We actually have to heal up a real boom. He's going to send out a throw, which is actually fine. We're just going to switch to a Corviknight, which is fine because flying super effective to fighting right here. And this is actually this the one I just threw out, Salk. It's actually sword exclusive. And this one is shield exclusive. Throw is shield exclusive. I thought maybe they were evolutions of each other, but they're not. They are not. They're just totally two different, totally different Pokemon. I just said totally like nine times. It's all cool because if we one-shot this, it doesn't even matter. Ready? Watch. Okay, so it doesn't even matter that I said totally 5,000 times, but it's all good. We're just going to keep chilling here. Yo, that guy's like the little fatter karate guy with more wisdom, and the other one's just like the more skilled athletic karate guy. <laughs> right here. Oh, Drenal wants to learn liquidation. Don't mind if you do. What's going on? What are we losing here? What's liquidation? 80? No, liquidation to 85. May lower the target's defense stat. Ooh, headbutt, you're gone. Headbutt, you're gone. We're going to double up on the water moves here, which is fine. One can burn, and one can do more damage, which is nice, which is nice. But there we go. We defeat Black Belt Reese right here. Give me all your cash, you 5,248, which is fine. And we got our campsite right here just chilling here. He's just going to chill here. Anything over here? Yeah, I was going to say, there's got to be a sparkle. Ooh, a nice little rare candy. We racked up like seven. You get a ton in this game. In the older games, oh my lord, you got beastie boys over here. Beastie boys are just chilling. We got whalemers and all that. Geez, so these are just two separate paths right here. But geez, you got the second stage of uh, barn, a uh, binnacle over there. You got grapple lock. Oh my lord, leave me in the room, grapple lock. Dude, look at him moving around in the water. He's hilarious. He's hilarious. We got a protector. This actually evolves your uh, Rhyhorns and the Rhyperiors. Or Rhydons and the Rhyperiors, which is nice. We're going to battle this little fool right here. Uh, what you want, sir? I will actually kill all your Pokemon for free. <laughs> but yeah. That item right there, if you trade over your Rhydon with that holding it, it'll evolve into a Rhyperior. Dude, this thing's gonna get marked by my drum beating. Hopefully this is his only Pokemon, so we keep it quick and short. It is his only Pokemon, and it is dead in one hit. This is a Ice and Water Pokemon. I actually do not have one of these. Maybe it's shown in this water, or at least it's first stage. It's a uh, Shelter, but there you go. Dead. Murked on the boy. Murked on the boy. Absolutely just murked on him. <laughs> but we're going to be moving on to the seventh gym in a little bit. I believe it might be like a ghost gym or something, which is pretty cool. Is it ghost or dark? It's something cool. It is something cool. We have two more gyms left. The last one is dragon, which is nice. Oh my lord, dude. Look at all these whalemers, dude. These whalemers are pretty crazy. 
Well, it's pretty crazy, dog. Dude, grapple locks are scaring me. I'm gonna try to dip around it and see what's over here. Leave me alone, grapple lock. We got more whelmers at Berry Tree. Nothing else. That's fine. That is fine. There's a lot. There is a lot. Dude, this place is unreal, and I'm loving it. I'm a, I'm loving it. We're just exploring the sea right now. We got this trainer chilling over here, but is there anything over here? It's a little fishing spot right there. I ain't really too worried about that trainer right there. We can actually come back there and do him later. What we got? We got a little secret path right there. I'm just oh a TM a TM. Yes, sir. Don't mind if I do. I guess we got to go up there and get the real path. I thought we were just going to hop off our bike. Oh, rock slide. That would be a beautiful move to get to give to our Dreadnought. Our boy Dreadnought right there. Because that is actually one of the better rock moves. Grab block. Leave me alone. I feel like that thing is level 50. It's just going to murk me. Ah! Leave me alone! <laughs> we got hit by this Whelmer right here. Why are all these Pokemon? Just, there's just a ton spawning. Like you guys know what I'm saying? There are a ton spawning right here. We're just gonna hit the run. We got away safely. I gotta heal him up before we actually use him again, which is not a big deal. We already been over there. But we're gonna head this way now. Actually, probably make our way out of this place. Let's go over here. What is this? We already been over here. We got that little fool chilling here. We got this regular bicycle place. Is that double battle? I kinda wanna do it. I kinda wanna do this double battle. We're gonna switch out our Pokemon. We're gonna go Toxtricity in the front spot, considering all these people are gonna be water. And we're gonna go Grap Lock in the next spot right here. Let's go. 47 48. And we're gonna take on this double battle. Of course, it's not a double battle. It's not a double battle. And this guy says it's a secret beach. <gasps> and they give us TM dive. Okay. Okay, even better. Not even a double battle, which is fine. I know what dive does. You don't have to tell me what dive does. It's fine. And we got three dive balls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, yeah, baby. We racking all this stuff up. But we got to find the exit point here. How do we exit out of here? We're going to cut across here. I guess we're going to have to go straight down. We were already here. Wow, dude, there's Toxapec and Clobopus. Toxapec is the second stage of Marini and is an absolute unit. Absolute unit. What do we got over here? Like I said, that's the little area right here. We, already, we versed this guy. This guy had the Cloyster. Let's head down towards this area. There's that beach right there. We were already there. Now let's head down this way and see what we got over here. We got this area right here. And here's the exit right here. The end of Route 9 is just chilling here. And we got... What is this thing? What is this thing? Oh, it's the first stage of that Iceberg Pokemon. What is this? This is Bergmite. Bergmite, my boy. We got to catch him. We gotta catch Bergmite right here. We got our Toxtricity out. Front and center. We do not have a Bergmite. We're just gonna give it a nice little poison jab and then catch him. Bergmite, we need you in my Pokedex, in the Jeans Pokedex. Welcome to the Jeans Squad, Bergmite, because I know we're gonna catch you right here. Give me that cookie. That a boy. We caught little boy Bergmite right there. What a guy, what a guy. But we're gonna hop off our bike right here, hit the Heel Toe Express, get ourselves a scope lens, which is nice. It boosts uh, critical hit ratio. What we got over here, we got all different stuff. We got that. What's over here? We got a double battle. Is that, is that all it is? A double battle? And then we can make our way back this way. Let's check our map and see where exactly where we are at on our map. But I think it just loops back, right? Yeah, we are here. This is where we have to go, Spike Month. And back this way would actually be Route 7 and Hammerlock. So we don't really want to go that way. Which, um... We're just going to make our way left right here. Go over here. But let me know in the comment section down below, what is your new favorite Pokemon in this game? Mine, preferably, right now, it's Grapplock. I love Grapplock. I love his design and all that. I can't enter Spike Muth. So I've just been hanging around here this whole time. No one can challenge a Dark-type leader like this. What's with this gate being shut? How am I supposed to get in the gym now? Okay, so this is where we take on the Dark Gym Leader right here. There's Marnie right there. Hey, Jeans. Yo, what's up, Marnie? I'm going to head over here and say what's up to you. How you doing, Marnie? Oh, we can just maybe... That's just a hint to actually walk around this way. Ooh. Fancy, Marnie. Fancy. What's up, Marnie? How you doing? How you doing? This is how we get into the dark gym right here. This is what it is. It's a dark gym. I thought it was dark, right? Is that what I said? And there's a Pokemon Center here. It's like a little town right here. We got Team Yell chilling here. Marnie, tell them to go away. I don't feel like dealing with them. Are you kidding me, Marnie? Are we versus Marnie? Who are we versing? We're actually versing Marnie right here. She just wants to have a nice little Pokemon trainer battle. But I was like, yo... Why is Team Yell coming out here? But they're just here to cheer her on. But, yo, she has that Mopeka. Is that what it's called? Mopeka? That's going to be our challenge. That is going to be our challenge right here. ba na 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 do 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 Lipard. Dude, what you want, Lipard? We're just going to uh, poison jab you up. Do some work on you. going to use nasty plot. She's going to plot something nasty. Bam, bam, ba bam, bam. All right. God, raise your special attack. That's fine. You're not even going to get the chance. It's like, I ain't even going to let you get the chance. <laughs> All right, we're going to use this. I actually haven't used Overdrive yet, so maybe we'll use it in a little bit. Really using a potion? El Potion? Dumb. Dumb. Now you're dead. Now you're dead one shot. <laughs> potion was a waste of your time. Should just let your Pokemon die peacefully. There we go. Level up Toxtricity. What's the only Boom Bat? Boom Burst? What is this? 
No more 140 power? The user attacks with everything around it and destructs the power of a terrible explosive sound. Uh, yeah. Overdrive or discharge? Which is going? I want all- I want these two moves. I want them too. Okay, so we got 80, 80. Which one has more PP? This one could cause paralysis. Overdrive, you're gone. Overdrive is gone. Actually, they probably have both have their uh, uses and all that. It's fine. It's not a big deal. We're going to keep him out. We can always uh, go back and change our Pokemon. But what is this? This is fighting type, right? I believe we know we have. No, we do not know. We're going to use Boom Burst. I want to see this move. I got to see this move. It hits for 140 power. Wow. Wow, dude. Absolute unit of a move. He's going to swagger us up. You hunk of junk. It's going to raise our stats, but confuse us. Give us a little bit of swagger. <laughs> We are confused, but we're gonna discharge and actually finish off this Scrafty. Is that what it is? It's a Scrafty, right? Oh, we got our move off. Yes, we can actually switch out Pokemon, so we don't have to deal with this confusion afterwards. Noise, noise. <laughs> Scrafty's so dope, yo. It looks like he's wearing a hood and all that good stuff. But look at that XP we can Mean little batch. Gonna send out Toxic Croak right here. We're just gonna switch out our Pokemon to our <laughs> to our Scent of right here. <laughs> I was trying to decide. I was trying to decide. Our Dreadnought probably would have been better because I think Dark would have been super effective to this bad boy. Actually, he's Poison and Dark. Hmm, not too sure, but Toxicroak is a shield exclusive Pokemans. Let me get him with this Flame Wheel right here. We have Crunch. We haven't used Crunch yet. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> why, why does your whole team have Swagger? I'm confused. I'm confused. You know what game I want them to make that they haven't made in forever is a Pokemon Ranger game. I actually love those games and I actually lost them when I was younger. Oh! Whoa, what is up with all that confusion damage? He's gonna kill us with this poison jab. No, he's not. But if we... Okay, we snapped out of confusion. That's nice. Hit him up with this flame wheel right here. But yeah, they haven't made a Pokemon Ranger game in forever. Ooh, nice little one-shot action there. I actually used to love them, but I lost them both on my DS. I don't know how. I guess I might have traded them in on accident. Because I traded in a bunch of games when I was a kid. Gonna send out more Pekko. We're actually gonna switch over to our... Grap lock. I got a plan here. We're gonna octo lock this Morgo pack because I know this thing's a strong little boy. And then it's just gonna dr keep dropping this defense so we can actually take it out easily. This is gonna be her strongest Pokemon right here. More Mo Peko, more Peko, however you pronounce it. But this thing's so cool. I gotta get one. Some more Peko. We're gonna grab lock it or octo lock it. She's gonna use Torment, which is fine, which is literally fine. Our fighting moves are actually super effective to it. Octo lock. Gonna drop her defense and she cannot move anymore. Every single turn her defense is actually gonna drop. Her special defense and her regular one. I don't know if we should go all out here. She's gonna turn into mad form. Oh no! <laughs> there we go. Hit him with the with the brick break. This should actually do some work on it. Let's see what she's gonna use. She, oh, it has a special move. It has a special move. Spark? That's not a special move. That says poo-poo damage. Why are you saying you have special moves when you don't? Die. See you later. Drop your defense. One shot, you're more pecker. This thing actually gave us trouble. Way back at like the when we were doing this going towards the first gym I think it was it actually gave us problems. But there we go finish off trainer Marnie right there easy enough Easy enough now we can head into the seventh gym and actually tackle that bad boy what you want what you want I'm not giving you a rematch. She's actually very nice She comes off like like a rival and all that But it's just cuz team yells kind of always backing her up and all that but we make our way into spike mooth right here and this place is pretty cool. It's kind of like a rundown little area right here, but kind of with like a little like cool little vibe. You know what I'm saying? Kind of has that dark little like vibe. You guys know what I'm saying. You guys know what I'm saying. Let's get it. We can head inside Spike Muth. We're going to heal up our Pokemon right off the bat. You guys know that deal. We're going to heal up these Pokemans. And then we're going to head over to the gym battle. Since it's dark, what's super effective to dark? I think, isn't poison? No, poison is not. That's a uh, fairy, right? I'm not too sure, but we're going to keep our Toxa, uh, not Toxic Peck, I was going to say. Our Toxicity out in the front spot. And we're going to go find this gym right here. Which way is it? Is it to the left? Nope. It must be to the right then. <laughs> well, let's go. We got all these marks right here. And we got our girl Marnie right here. With the shutter closed, nobody's going to be able to challenge a gym. I got to look into this. Go ahead, Marnie. Go look into this. I just happen to have too many of these. So I'll give you one I got. You can handle it yourself, right? Oh, we got Pierce lead card, which is probably... The gym leader's league card. That's probably the gym leader. So we're going to head over here and go do that gym battle. What is this? What did that do? If you're looking for the gym leader, he's straight ahead of here. Oh, really? I didn't think so. There's only two ways. So I don't know which way to go. Oh, are you kidding me? Are we going to have to face off against Team Yell? What are they doing? Gym challenge. You want to get past me? But I don't want that. Basically, it's a battle between our desires. 
Bro, we battle in so many. This is probably the gym challenge, in my opinion. I think we're gonna battle a bunch of Team Yell grunts, and then go versus the challenger instead of uh, do like a ch actual challenge. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is gonna be the challenge for us. Let's find you. What you want, Lining? You're dead. I'm just gonna poison jab you. This should actually take you out. Considering we're level 48, this thing outspeeds me. Are you kidding me? This thing must have some mean IVs. He must have some mean IVs. Okay, okay. Let's get this poison jab off. Yay! Later. Oh, you hunk of junk. You hunk of junk. I'm gonna just poison jab it up again. Which is fine. It's not a big deal. We'll take a little bit of extra time. Dude, stop fury swiping me, you little punk. Opsagoon, this uh, evolution of Linoon right here, Opsagoon is nasty looking. It's like a big, bulky Linoon standing on its hind legs, ready to murk anybody and claw and give them rabies and all that good stuff. <laughs> but I can't believe our Grapplock's actually the highest Pokemon now. That was just from training off screen and like leveling up Pokemon with them. Do I have to verse this other one? Please don't tell me. Nope, just one. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's keep moving along here. What you want, fools? Where's that gym trainer at? Or the gym leader? Where you at? Needs more? Oh, uh, nope. I don't. What is this? Mr. Mime. There's some kind of invisible wall. You can't get through no matter how hard you try. What you mean? Can we go through this door? What? There's an actual invisible wall? <laughs> What's this, a gym challenger made it through? All of us Team Yell members have blocked away. Don't think we'll just let you waltz through. Okay, you wanna lose too, dude? We are gonna run your town and run you out of business here. That's our plan, that is our plan. She's gonna send out Feeble, which is just a dark type. I'm surprised it's not dark and fire. Doesn't it look like it can have partial fire in it? You know, a little sub, little sub stat there. But we're gonna poison jab it. I love poison jab, it's such a strong move. This isn't Sucker Punch. I wish I had Sucker Punch on one of my Pokemon. Stink! <laughs> Her Pokemon are poo poo. Very, very much. Very poo poo. <laughs> there we go. Defeat that team, Yelk. Run. Give me all that cash, baby. Give me all that cash. Let's go. Yeah. What is up with this invisible wall? Can you get this on uh, Mr. Mime out of my face here? It's just chilling here. What's it doing? Bari, Bari. Get out of my face. Yo, Mr. Mime's so hilarious. He's like, mwah. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> Oh, and this little neon light lights up, letting us know the way this way, even though we already know which way we have to go, considering there's only one way to go. What's up? I'm yelling for no reason. <laughs> These boys just did a front flip. These are some big boys right here, but they can do a front flip. Is this a double battle? Show us a double battle, not a one-on-one -on -one battle. No, I want a double battle. Double battles are actually a lot of fun, considering we haven't did some in a while. We got Scrafty. Didn't we just merge the Scrafty? I feel like these uh guys have some repetitive Pokemon. You know, they're all that, like, dark little, like, Rifty type Pokemon. We're gonna hit it with a discharge right off the bat. I should use Boom Burst. I think it would have killed it. Let's go. Discharge. Yeet. Nice little damage. Bring it down to the low yellow. He's gonna use Scary Face. What's that do? We can't escape, right? Where does that drop a uh, stat? It drops our attack or defense. Speed. Oh, wow. I'm dumb. <laughs> Let's go. Discharge it up. He's gonna confuse us. How do you go first? And you guys just heard me crack my knuckles. Because I'm ready. <laughs> I did it right in front of the microphone. I didn't even mean that. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Let's go. I'm confused. Can you hit? Yes. Let's go. Use this charge right here. I love how it looks. He just like kind of explodes out. Let's his electricity fly. And take out everything around it. That's dope. That is dope. Let's go. You defeat a team. Yo, grunt. Actually, after we defeat this uh, gym battle, our next gym will be right in Hammerlock. That's pretty cool. Do we have to versus this other guy? Can you do? A f Can you guys both leave? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's hit this. Ooh, we got a Pokeball. A Max Revive. That's nice to just be chilling there. That's fine. I will take it. I 100% take it. Let's keep rolling out here. <laughs> Mr. Mime's here again. I hate you, Mr. Mime. I guess we're gonna walk back here. Can we actually do anything? Can we talk to this, Mr. Mime? Yeah, we know that there's an invisible wall. How do we get through? Can we go somewhere? Is there, oh, wait. Is there a path right here? Nope. No path right here. Okay, we walk back. The HP of your Pokemon is not looking good. Yo, what you mean? <laughs> These people doing backflips in here. See, I feel like this is a gym challenge because there's no way they're going to put us all through this and then have us do a whole nother gym challenge with a bunch of trainers. You guys know what I'm saying? She's going to drop a Weebile. A Weebile. This thing is actually one of the quickest Pokemon behind uh, Dragapult. So we're not going to attack first. What are we going to use here? We're going to go Boom Burst. A little nice little normal move that hits like a truck. She's going to slash us up. Slash actually has a high chance of critting, but it didn't. It didn't. Let's go. Boom Burst here. Yo. Yo, see you later. Dude, I can't believe this thing has a 140 base damage. Like, are you serious? That move is unreal, but let's go. Level 49 for our Toxtricity right here. We defeated Team Yell Grunt. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. But I don't know who we're going to roll out front spot here. I don't know who we're going to roll out front spot. Get out of here. Go ahead. Do backflips out of here. 
Mr. Schmine, you, you're gone. Get out my face, little boy. I'm sick of looking at him. He's kind of ugly, too. I need Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme is a ga uh, Galarian form of Mr. Mime. Are we almost there? Oh, I feel like we made it here. I feel like we made it. I feel like we got to go inside here. Go around here. Don't tell me we have to fight you. Jesus. How many Team Yell grunts do we have to fight? This is unreal. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. We're just versing every single Team Yell grunt there is. Oh, a double battle. Cool, cool. Drapion and a life part. We're going to grab a lock and talk to Tristy right here. We actually burst all these Pokemon so we can see what will be super effective. This actually hits everybody. Oh, no. It hits my grapple lock, too. So does that. Jeez, okay. Looks like we got to use Poison Jab. We're going to go on this life part Poison Jab. And then we're going to go super effective on who? On him. We're just going to go Drapion because I feel like this uh, Poison Jab could do work on it. Let's go. Let's get it. Poison Jab. That's the only thing, thing that stinks about... Oh, dude, nice Toxtricity. Nice, but that's the only thing that stinks about Toxtricity moves is he's going to hit my grab block in double battles every single time or whoever I have next to him. He's going to Venice Shock us up. This move is actually nasty if you can poison the Pokemon because then it does double damage and it just absolutely mercs. Nice little Brick Break right there. Get out of my face. And we're just going to actually finish off... Well, we'll just uh, go right here, hit the Drapion, and then we're just going to Brick Break this thing and finish off this double battle right here. Hopefully this Toxtricity can actually take it out with it. I don't think it will. It's not very effective. Nope, it does not. Go ahead, grab Lock. Go first. Nope, he's got a Venice Shock. I like how he just turns like, You, you're getting a Venice Shock. <laughs> but I'm just like, What the fuck? Get out of my face. With that little Brick Break Karate Chop right there. Finish off both these Team Yell Grunts right here. Get some mean XP. We got to switch out our Pokemon. Oh, Dreadnought and Rillaboom level up. And hopefully this is all the Team Yell Grunts. We've been working on each and every single one of them. For like the past hour and a half. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, I know we're really strong. We've been running you all game. Every time you guys come up to us, we just slap, slap, get out of my face, you're dead. Game over. Now, where do we go now? Here we go. We meet Marnie right here. Shut your gob. What's your gob? Oh, jeans. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry. The lot of Spike Moose telling me they locked down the city for my sake. Spike Moose just keeps getting worse and worse, and all peers say is don't worry. So. So we decided to disguise ourselves as Team Yell and sabotage the other challenges. Okay, so this is like the backstory of them. That's pretty cool. I kind of like that, but it's time to face the gym leader, she said. Like I said, that is actually the challenge right there. And the gym leader is actually just chilling over here. And we got this nice little floor right here. We're actually going to heal up our Pokemon before we actually waltz on in there. So let me give some uh, potions and all that. I got some hyper potions chilling right here. We're going to give it the Toxtricity and our Grab Block. And who's going to be our front starter? Who's going to be our front starter? I'm going to say it's a dark type gym. The dark type gym. I'm going to go with our, maybe our Corviknight or our Rillaboom. Let's go with our Rillaboom. Get him up in there. Considering we have the Luck Incense so we can start off pretty strong. Let's hit the Bounce and Boogie and get in there. Let's go, dude. But here is the gym challenger up on stage. Rocking out right here. Come on down here and fight us. She looks pretty dope. She looks like she has a Zigzagoon on her head, though. Not going to lie. <laughs> Doesn't she look like she has a Zigzagoon on her hair? That's pretty funny. Now she's singing and looking around in the crowd and all that. Can you just look at us so we can get this battle over with? Oh, she sees us. It's like, what is this? Oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> Sai, you are finally here, huh? See, I'm, I'm a really not a great gym leader. Figure that's why nobody was coming to challenge me. Okay, why are you? Well, she's bringing herself down. She's like, I'm not even that good of a gym leader. Maybe she's trying to get into my head. Maybe she's trying to get in my head. Everyone's like, <gasps> They're challenging. <laughs> Everyone gets out the way. Go behind the gate. We are ready to go. We are ready to go. Let's get in this. Now then. I'm the gym leader of Spike Moose. Piers, the dark type user. You want to challenge me even though you know you'll lose. Then this song is for you, foolish trainer. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spike Moose, it's time to rock. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's get it. We got it. her name's Piers. Okay, cool. See, I, I wasn't expecting her name to be Pierce. She's going to send out Scrappy right off the bat. We got our Rillaboom right here. I think our, uh, I was going to say Woodhammer would take it out, but no. These guys should be a little bit higher level. I'm going to say 44 around level 44. So I'm going to say, yeah, see, 44 exactly on the dot, dude. He's going to intimidate us, drop our attack. That's why we're going to use a special attack move right here with our uh, jump beat. I believe this is a special attack move. Once you just use Fake Out, you're going to make me flinch. You hunk a junk. You hunk a junk. Let's go, jump beat, let's go. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> now my face, dude, nice. Uh, not really that good of damage, but that's gonna drop its speed. So we're actually gonna be able to get first hit. He's gonna sand attack us, you hunk of junk. I'm just gonna, what's that dude? Drop our accuracy. I'm just gonna hit him with another uh, 
wood hammer, or no, drum beating right here, and then I'm gonna wood hammer her out. Take some re recoil damage, because I don't want to drop it too low, and then have it heal up. You guys know what I'm saying? Drop it speed again. We will get first hit next time. He's gonna use payback. This is gonna do some work on us. That's a strong hit. That's a strong hit. See, so did some decent damage. We're just gonna wood hammer it out. Make sure it's dead so she doesn't actually heal up her Pokemon. Let's go. Whoa, bam! Dude, wood hammer hits like an absolute truck, man. Absolute truck. We're just gonna slap on all these fools right here. Real boom was damaged by the recoil right there. It's fine. We get some XP. Who is up next? Who we got next? A Malamar right here. We're just gonna switch out to our. This is actually psychic and dark. We're gonna sit, switch out to our toxicity here. Because I don't get why this thing isn't water either. Isn't that kind of weird? It's a squid that's not water. It's dark and psychic. But it's kind of weird. Like, if you think about it, or not think about it, like, to evolve this Pokemon, you have to have your switch out. This is actually how you did it in the DS. And when you, when you level them up past 30, you flip your switch around. Upside down, which is pretty cool. I think that's a very dope concept. You flip them around because his body kind of flips upside down when he evolves. So it's pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, what you hit me with? You just marked on me, but you're dead. You're dead. You're either gonna potion up or you're dead. Okay, you're dead. That's fine. Yeah, we still have a Dynamax to use. We still have a Dynamax to use. We're gonna save it for the last Pokemon. I'm guessing it's gonna be more Pekka because doesn't that thing have a Gigamax form? Who's next? An Obstagoon. Oh, you know who we're switching out to. Raplock. Raplock, baby. I'm hyped to use my Raplock on this little Obstagoon. I don't think you guys seen Obstagoon yet. The big boy. Real big boy. Look at it on his hind legs right there. Absolute monster. Absolute monster. Or does this thing have a Gigamax form? We're just gonna uh, brick break it. Does this thing have a Gigamax form? No, it does not. I'm telling you, it's gonna be more Pekko. There we go. Oh, are you kidding me? That thing really survived. That thing really just survived. Jeez! What do you use? I didn't even see what movie you used, but jeez, dude, you just took out our what's it called? Our dang grab lock, and that's who I was gonna uh, go up against with the more Pekka, but I guess not. We're just gonna outspeed it here, so give it a drill peck. Say night night. No, that thing actually outspeeds an obstruct. I think that's one of his moves. That's sick. What's that do? It protects itself. That's all it does. Okay. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just give him protect? I guess it's just a cooler way to give him protect, right? Am I right or am I right? I think I'm right. Look at that, hit that drill peck right there. But yeah, look at Peter's hair right now. Looks like she has that Obstagoon on her head, right? Or, or uh, Zigzagoon. Wow, the mean XP right there. We're gonna, oh, Skunk Tank she's gonna send out. We're just gonna keep her current Pokemon. I thought she would definitely have more P.E.K.K.A., but I guess that's, uh, what's it called? It's Pokemon. Marnie's Pokemon. What you want, dude? This Skunk Tank actually has a Giga Max? That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. But he's ugly, dude. He smells, dude. He just smells, dog. Oh, dude, he has Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch always hits first, and it has a Toxic. Which is gonna be mean. Um, we're actually gonna, uh... We cannot Dynamax here? Okay. I thought you could Dynamax here. That's pretty crazy. Jeez! Crit at me. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? You really crit at me? We're gonna hit him with this Drill Pack here. Do some work on him. And then our Corviknight is probably gonna go out here. But we're just gonna go hit this block. Yep, there goes Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch always hits first, I believe. I believe it is a first hit move. It's just Sucker Punch at me. I wasn't even ready. He just comes up behind me. Mwah! Punch me right in the face. We're going to send out our Dreadnought. Get some Dreadnought loving to actually finish off this battle. Because we haven't used Dreadnought all video right now. <laughs> we haven't used him at all. We're going to use Liquidation. We've actually never seen this move in action yet. Let's see how it does. Ooh. Ooh. It's like a big slap of water. Aftermath. That's okay. We're, we're still alive. And that will finish off Peter and the seventh gym right here. Dude, I cannot wait to actually take on the next gym. Who's going to rock out there? We have no dragon type or ice type. It's actually a dragon place. We're going to have to give someone a, a nice move. That's exactly what we're going to have to do. <laughs> or a fairy move. Or a fairy move. I forgot. But jeez, dude, that cash. 15k, baby. 15k. Let's get it. What kind of TM are you going to give us? And what kind of badge? I want to see his badge go into this pendant because we are actually... Two away from filling up that pendant. I want to see where it fits on. Because it seems like we have a bit, a pretty big spot to actually finish off. Hey, Pierre, here's your dark badge. I like how she just gives it to us. There you go. I'm going to go back to singing. Ooh, fancy, fancy, fancy. Look at that going in our pendant, dude. That dragon badge is going to be a big boy. It's going to be a big pendant badge looking thing. Let's go. Now you can catch Pokemon up to level 55. Cool, cool, cool. You know what I actually want to get? I actually want to get, like, replicas of, like, gym badges. I think that would be cool. Just, like, nice metal pin gym badges. I could put them up on my wall. They would look beautiful. But there we go. Marnie's going to congratulate us right here. And she wanted to tell, or Piers wanted to tell Marnie something and all that good stuff. 
What else we got? What else we got? We're gonna head back to the beginning right here. Is that where, where it's taking us? Yes, right here. He's gonna give us his TM, a snarl. That's an okay move. That's an alright move. I mean, we could probably use it in competitive play, but I want it like Sucker Punch or something good. And what is that? What? Hey there. Hey, there's some trouble over on Route 9. It's so bad. Even the champions come to sort things out. Oh, hey. You gave Piers a thrashing, didn't you? You should head over there to help. Come on, then. I'll show you the way. Don't you dare just take me over there. Oh, he's just taking us right outside of here. He's taking us right outside of here to see what's going on at Route 9. I cannot wait to actually see. Let's see what we have. Kaboom! Dude, my boy Leon's here. Yo, what's up, Leon? How you doing? Gene, thanks for coming, but I've got a handle on this. Whatever's making that noise, I'll see to it. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your eye on the goal. And for you, that's winning the gym challenge. From the Dragon Gym leader, Rayhan, right? Rayhan is the only trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know? Okay, so this guy's good. And there I go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is no time for me to, to be stopping for chat. There's a bit of trouble here with my name on it. But don't, but don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep you all safe. Kaboom! What is going on? Exactly. Can you just tell me what's going on? I'd like to see. That came from the tunnel, wouldn't you say? Seems I'm about to have a champion time. Okay, so that's actually... Ooh, look at this new Pokemon. But, but guys, that is where we're going to end off the video. If you did enjoy the content, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.